Okay, so I figured out what I did. Um, I because before I started the live and then I accepted you in. This time I've accepted you in and started the live, and so now it should be both of us. Okay, so let me see if we're on my phone. Oh, we're both on my phone now. And I have the comments live, so that's okay. We figured it out. Okay, so we're back. So I'm sure the girls will come back in a couple minutes. <coughs> so what you were saying as we were getting, you know, distracted and everything. By the way, I have to tell you this story. I got distracted because my husband came in the door and he had his pill box yeah. that he had misplaced. And he goes, where did you find it? And I go, I, he goes, it was on my table where I plug in my devices right now, just now. And I go, I didn't. He goes, no way. He goes, oh, hello. Sherry says, hello. And I can see you both. Oh, you see that now too, right, Tara? Uh, yeah, I should. Well, I haven't seen it yet pop up on my screen, but it should, it should pop up. Yeah. So anyway, he says, it's right there where I plug in my devices and I plugged in last night before I went to bed and they weren't there. I says, I, no, it wasn't me. I didn't touch them. <laughs> Spirit. Um, I, I wanted to address Sherry's comment that her vine's bone about bringing the flowers and says in, um, it's energy. Everything is energy. So it's the way I describe it to people who are kind of new to this. It's like when you listen to a song on the radio, more so older stuff than the techno stuff doesn't really have a lot of soul in it. But, um, and you start to feel that emotion from the music, from the singer. That's because that's the energy that you're feeling. And it's kind of the same when you ask the flower essence to come in, you're just asking that energy to come in and assist you. And you do feel it, which you'll experience when we do it with you. Um, it can feel like waves, tingles, hot, cold, um, and you'll feel it kind of anywhere in your body. It depends on where it's being held. Sometimes it'll be, um, sometimes you may not even feel it necessarily. What I found is when we do layers, because lots of times we'll have to bring a flower since in a couple of times, and it's almost like it needs to bring in kind of what I envision, like the layers, and then you can actually feel it in the physical. Um, so if you don't feel any of them, you just put your hands on your temple because that anchors it into your body. But yeah, it's just like, um, or I always say to moms, like when you just have a sense that something's going on with one of your kids or you can just feel it in your gut, kind of the same thing. It's just energy. And that's what we're doing. We're just calling in that energy to help you with something very specific. So yeah. Interesting. So I will have a couple more questions before we get started because these are okay. very personal. Um, <clears throat> can the receiver, can I ask you to call in an essence for a certain thing? Or is it uh, all what the essences feel and are giving me that I don't necessarily know right now? Well, um, when, what happens when I pick the essence for you is that it will, um, I'll read. The essences feel energy. Sorry, I'm pausing my phone so I can see comments. Um, I'll read kind of the explanation of it and you'll just say whatever kind of resonates with you. Um, and that's what we ask it to assist you with. So like if it's confidence, it may be, um, so cosmos is one that's coming to mind which helps you speak your truth. And so there may be a sentence in what I read that you're like, yeah, I want that. And so that's what we'll ask to come in. Um, does that kind of answer your question? Yeah, sort of. We don't start with me saying I want help with a physical issue or something like that. We start with the flower essence talking to you, right? Yeah. Well, and, um, I, when I do sessions with people, I ask, is there something specific that you want? Knowing that I have no control over this, so Spirit's going to give you what you need, <laughs> whatever that may be. Yeah. Um, but, like, if you want to say, are there flower senses that will help with my business or my career? Then we'll focus that way because there may be, like, and again, I have no control. It could be two flower senses. It could be 22. It could be 100. And not that I've ever had 100, but it could be... Um, and so there might be some that are geared specifically for your career, whereas if you um, just do a general, it'll be kind of everything. 
But if there's something like you want physical, like, is there something that will help me with my allergies? Let's say then we, then they would kind of be focused. Some may not have anything necessarily to do with that logically, but it could be something like tied to wounding. It could be something that's tied to like past life stuff. Um, but what's going to come is going to come no matter what kind of thing. Yeah. So we can gear it if you want to. Um, and some of it might specifically have to do with that. Um, some of it may not. Yeah. It's okay. That. <laughs> yeah. That answers my question. I don't want to direct it today. We'll just do what you do. Now, the final question I have is <clears throat> on the technical side of it, if you can say <laughs> it's talking to spirit is technical on the mm -hmm. technical part of it. What do you do? Do you do you quiet your mind and listen for something, or is there a a chart that you're drawn to put a mark on? How 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 do you do um, that? Okay, so I use my pendulum at times, and I use my intuition, um, depending on how I'm feeling that day. But I use first of all, I say like we ask, is there flower essences for? So I'll just say like, is there some for you? And it'll be yes. And then in a session, I'll say how many. Usually it's about five to 10. Um, but like I said, some we may have to bring in numerous times because it's those layers. And then we start with the, and I'm showing the camera. I don't know if you can see it, but um, the issues. So I go to the issue first and whatever, sometimes it just pops up. And for me, it like, it's like the word just kind of jumps out of the page and it's like, okay. Um, and I'll, if I'm not sure if nothing's really jumping out, I'll kind of check with my pendulum because there is, I mean, like you can see, like probably about 150. Um, and then after the issue comes up, then I go to the list of flower essences because each of these issues has several flower essences under it. And then again, something will jump out or I'll use my pendulum to ask which one. And then, then I read the full description and you tell me what kind of resonates. <laughs> okay. And usually with clients, it's, it's quite beautiful. I've had quite a few clients that are, either their jaw drops or they get quite emotional because they're like, that is exactly how I'm feeling. I just, you know, like I couldn't put it into words or I didn't know how to say it. And it's like, yep, that's me. And usually there'll be a sentence that you either, cause we can use them to release energy or bring energy in. Um, and there'll be a sentence that you're like, yep, I'm done with that. Like, I don't want that anymore. Or there's a sentence that just kind of like warms your soul or you're just like, Oh my God, I need that. And it's just like, feels yummy. And that's what we asked to bring in. So, okay. Yeah. All my questions are answered for the time being. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I love them. Because I work with them all the time. It's good because I, I take for granted, I guess, what you don't know, right? Or what people don't know. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just this. And it's like, yeah, but everyone doesn't understand that. So, mm -mm. so. We're going to go with you, and you just said general, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm getting that there's four for you. And we did, I did kind of put it up to spirit that we want to be gentle. I know you're willing to be vulnerable, but some of these can like, some of them can be really vulnerable. And so I did put it up to be gentle. So hopefully okay. it is. So I just have to figure out what area, and then I'll tell you what area. So I got anxiety is the area. And then I'll figure out the specific flower essence. And this always takes a bit, so feel free to dead air. You can talk <laughs> if you want to. Dead air. <clears throat> well, I would also like the people that are watching to drop their questions in if they have some that I didn't cover and maybe we can cover them to now live or maybe we cover them when you reply to the comments later. Absolutely. Um, so under anxiety, what came up is Elm, which is over striving for perfection, fear that one will be let down or disappoint others. I'm giggling because we had this conversation a little while ago. I did for that conversation. Yep. 
So yep. not surprised that one came up <laughs> under that. <laughs> okay, so I will read um, the longer explanation. What you're listening for, I'm just gonna check how many times. Two times that we're gonna bring this in. So it can be two separate sentences or it can be one if there's one that you're just like, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, the way it's broken down is it's broken down into positive qualities. So this is the energy that it brings in. The patterns of imbalance are what you would notice if you needed this flower essence. So probably something you might wanna release. And then the longer explanation. All right, ready? Ready. Okay, the positive qualities are joyous service, faith and confidence to complete one's task, ability to shoulder tasks effectively. The patterns of imbalance are overwhelmed by personal or work obligations, feeling unequal to the task required, dysfunctional or scattered response to responsibilities and commitments. The healthy soul expresses itself by wanting to care for and serve others, but at times these positive altruistic impulse can be stymied. Becoming responsible requires that one rightly assesses one's ability to respond. Over-perfectionism or unrealistic goals can result in fatigue and overwhelm at a later point when the individual simply is simply unable to measure up to the tasks assumed. Feelings of self-doubt, despondency, and deep feelings of loneliness can set in when the soul feels it must face an overwhelming task, relying solely on its own ego forces. It is necessary at these times to shift the identity from that of hero or rescuer to an alignment with the true energy and inspiration of the higher self. In this way, the individual is able to receive help from others and from the spiritual world. Elm balances the natural leadership capacities within the soul, especially by integrating these with the true directives of the higher self. Okay. <laughs> so what are you asking me? What would you, what kind of stood out to you in that? Or what would you, what do you feel that you, yeah, was there anything okay. specific? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sure you overwhelm. I was going to say okay. Unequal, unequal to the task, scattered, okay. rescuer. Those words are what I wrote down. <laughs> okay. Um, all of the things I was going to say because we kind of had this conversation um, because we're both on this journey too, and there's times where we've had this conversation. Well, I don't know. Spirit just tells me I'm supposed to do this, and I don't know what to do. Right. Um, and so, yeah. So what we'll do is we will release those two. Um, feeling unequal to the task and the feeling of overwhelm and the hero rescuer. And then what was the other word that you said? Scattered. Okay. So we'll release all of those. So we'll do two to release, if that's good. That sound right to you? Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what you're saying to me. Go. Do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what you're gonna do is, and it'll make total sense after you've done it once. So you're just gonna repeat after me. Um, I'm gonna say the first sentence. You're gonna ask it to come in. The second sentence. You're gonna ask it to assist you with, um, and we're gonna say those. And then the third one. I'm gonna say you're gonna ask it to come in and to manifest to integrate. And then I'm going to pause. And that's when you just kind of close your eyes, take a breath into your body and see if you feel it anywhere. Again, waves, tingles, energy. You'll just kind of feel hot, cold it could be. Um, and then wherever you feel it, put both your hands there if you can. Um, if you can't, just put them on your temples because that will still anchor it in. And then when you have your hands there, just say, and stabilize. And then take as long as you need to feel the energy release. In this case, um, or you might feel some come in too. And then when you feel like you're ready, just say thank you. And then we'll do it one more time for Elm. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. So you're just, you're repeating after me. Okay. I asked for the flower essence of Elm. I asked the flower essence of Elm. To enter my energy field. To enter my energy field. Energy body. Energy body. And physical consciousness. And physical consciousness with the help of the divine with the help of the divine <clears throat> i asked for the flower essence of elm i asked for the flower essence of elm 
to assist me with to assist me with releasing feelings releasing feelings of overwhelm of overwhelm and that i'm unequal to the task required and that i'm unequal to the task required <clears throat> i asked for the flower essence of elm i asked for the flower essence of elm to manifest to manifest to integrate to integrate and then just feel into your body and see if you feel it anywhere So you want me to tell you where I feel it or just? You can you just know. put both your hands there, wherever you feel it, if you can put both your hands there. If not, just put them on your temples. Okay, well, part of it's tingling in my hands, which is usually a Reiki sign, but this is kind of different. So I'm just gonna put them here. Okay, and then say, and stabilize. And stabilize. And then just put that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you feel? Oh. <laughs> nice yeah so okay now what? Yeah. <laughs> okay so now we're gonna do it again um and you might feel it stronger this time okay. but that was a pretty strong reaction so that's cool yeah okay i asked for the flower essence of elm i asked for the flower essence of elm to enter my energy field to enter my energy field energy body energy body and physical consciousness and physical consciousness with the help of the divine with the help of the divine i asked for the flower essence of elm i asked for the flower essence of elm to assist me with to assist me with shifting from shifting from the identity or of hero the identity of hero and releasing feelings scattered and releasing feelings of scattered I asked for the flower essence of elm. I asked for the flower essence of elm. To manifest. To manifest. To integrate. To integrate. And then if you feel it. Okay. And stabilize. And stabilize. And then just feel that come in and when you're ready. Thank you. Awesome. How was that? That was very, that was very different. <clears throat> the two times? The two times. Yeah. 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 The second one. This is what I feel. The, the first one was like here now and what I'm doing here now. Yeah. The second part of it was healing a childhood pain and, and, and wound. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's, that's what I had this pop vision of uh, being a hero for my little sister yeah uh interesting that you say that because guess what came up next i don't know what <laughs> under the issue of soul or inner child sorry so interesting we're gonna go there apparently okay <laughs> um and the flower essence is sanctuary so it's compulsion to serve parents family members or parent-like figures Dominance of the inner child by one's own adult self. Neglect of inner emotional moods. Lack of self-nurturing. Oh, are I'm you... supposed to pick out words. No, that's okay. I'll read it to you. I'm just like, are you good to do this one? Yeah, I'm good. Live? Okay. <laughs> I think You're I'm such I think. a trooper. <laughs> um. It'll be healing, that's for sure, and we can do well, it after. Huh? And I said, if you don't, after you hear this, if you don't want to do it live, we can do it after, too, so. Okay. Um, it's two. 
So again, I'll read and just kind of whatever jumps out at you. So the positive qualities are serving others from inner strength while nourishing one's own needs, acting from strength of inner purpose, saying no when appropriate. The patterns of imbalance are weak-willed, dominated by others, servile, acting to please, difficulty saying no, fatigue and related problems due to self-neglect. <clears throat> the healthy soul needs to learn to balance its ego forces between the polarities of servitude and selfishness. Those who require sensory lack sufficient ego strength, not realizing that the ability to give to and serve others requires a strong, radiant inner sense of self. Such souls are de easily depleted and devitalized, and more importantly, they lack a vibrant individuality, which is so necessary for soul evolution. These persons are often under the illusion that they are being loving and helpful, but in reality, they are not strong enough in their will forces to say no or to resist exploitation by others. Their vulnerability lies in their reliance on pleasing others to receive self-validation. Thus, the compulsion to serve others is misplaced, for such a person neglects his or her own needs and cannot perceive the true objective needs of others. In this way, the century type retards not only its own soul growth, but also the progress of those who need to learn from him or her. Sanctuary gives beneficial strength and integrity to such personalities, helping them to assume greater self-awareness and self-responsibility. Okay, so what I wrote down for that was um, strength of inner purpose. Okay. Fatigue, self neglect, okay. and sufficient ego strength. Okay, perfect. So we'll do the releasing first, um, and then we'll do the bringing in. Good? Yep. Okay. All right. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. To enter my energy field. To enter my energy field. Energy body energy body and physical consciousness and physical consciousness with the help of the divine with the help of the divine i asked for the flower essence of sanctuary i asked for the flower essence of sanctuary to assist me with to assist me with releasing feelings of fatigue releasing feelings of fatigue and self-neglect and self-neglect i asked for the flower essence of sanctuary as for the flower essence of sanctuary <clears throat> to manifest to manifest to integrate to integrate and then if you feel it anywhere well my body my body is vibrating so i guess i do this <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um and then just say and stabilize and stabilize Wow. <laughs> Felt for a second like I was going to throw up. <laughs> it could feel like that. Yep, that's the energy moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something's happening. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, we're going to bring it in one more time. And you wanted um, inner strength, and what was the other word that you said? It was uh, self. No. Uh, inner strength of inner purpose. And ego strength. You already got that one, right? Okay. No. Okay. Strength of inner purpose and ego strength. Okay. Yeah. All right. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. To enter my energy field. To enter my energy field. Energy body. Energy body. And physical consciousness. And physical consciousness. With the help of the divine. With the help of the divine. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. To assist me with. To assist me with. Ego strength. <coughs> ego strength. And strength of inner purpose. And strength of inner purpose. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. I asked for the flower essence of sanctuary. To manifest. To manifest. To integrate. 
to integrate. And then when you feel it, just put your hands there or on your temples and then say unstabilize. I'm feeling it in a couple different places. Okay. Wherever you feel intuitively led, you can put your hands on your temples. That's kind of the go-to. Okay. But if there's somewhere that's calling for more attention, then put your hands there. And stabilize. Thank you. <coughs> On that How are you one, doing? I'm okay. I just got this cough. Yeah. Which could partially be energy moving too. Because I've had that too. Where, and especially because you felt like you were going to throw up. Um, I've had that too. Where it's like, and it feels like there's like a lump right there. And I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> So. Yeah. Sorry, um, you were saying on this, that one you felt? Well, that one I felt just an overall energy like a vibration felt it in my stomach and felt it at the back of my neck too like where I carry stress mm. I can feel that right in there and that's not surprising because that essence I've dealt with myself too um, and yeah carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders kind of thing and that's where you say you carry stress so yeah. so it's it's not surprising that that's where it showed up <laughs> yeah. for sure you doing good <laughs> that my cough yes okay um so i always check in because it doesn't seem like you're doing a lot but it is moving a lot of energy and as you kind of notice with these two, it's that's energy you've been holding on to for since childhood. So this can be super draining, like unbelievably draining where you're like, I was only like a couple things. And then like we may get off this call and you may be just done. And that's, I just say honor where you are and lots and lots of water today. Um, Cause that helps move the energy too. Um, I've had clients sleep for like 16 hours after like it, I've, I've done some when I was feeling great and I just felt like I needed to do some and that was it. Like I just had to have a nap because I couldn't even keep my eyes open. So just honor where you are and yeah. Are you good to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next one is purification and it is golden eardrops and it's release of toxic childhood memories stored in the heart. <laughs> often often expressed in deep crying. Are you giggling at the apparently we're doing some inner child healing today. Apparently. <laughs> but it's amazing how you and you and I've had this conversation before, how we don't necessarily consider that we have that because we think of like the textbook definition of trauma. And yeah. I I feel that that's such an injustice because Trauma is, if you experienced it as emotional, and then it was traumatic to you. So even if, you know, like your sister, or even if you're telling the story and everyone else is like, well, that's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. If you experienced it that way, and it's, it's kind of like, I guess you could say the perfect storm. So, you know, like your parents may have said something, or someone may have said something to you, and you were not feeling, like you are feeling down energetically that day as a kid. And it just really impacted you. Um, whereas, you know, they could have said it to their sister or something and your sister's like, eh, whatever. Um, and it all depends on the wounds that you're kind of, or the belief systems that you're dealing with and the belief systems that you came in with. So trauma is not something that you can go, this is trauma, this is not. So if you, I always say that to clients and I think that's super important because everyone's like, well, I didn't really have trauma. Then you start digging deeper and you're like, well, 
that obviously affected you and that did too and that did too and so um so yeah, I, I would say don't get stuck on the word trauma as being a textbook definition. Yeah. And that's more for your listeners because you and I have had that conversation before. <laughs> we have had that conversation and you've really helped me um, realize that too, is that trauma, <clears throat> trauma is something that, something, I mean, trauma is um, subjective, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, my trauma is different than your trauma and anybody else's trauma. And at the time, if it made us feel that way, then it was trauma of some yep, sort. Exactly. Yep. And then, and then there's all the other big stuff that you normally in your head think of. Uh -huh. as trauma. Yeah. And, and that is, yeah, that's the, what I say, like the big stuff that we think of. Right. Um, and especially being a social worker, like I know the, the list of you know trauma or abuse and stuff like that and so it was definitely a mind shift for me to go because I mean a same thing as we talked about I had a pretty good childhood but I have a lot of inner child healing that I had to do and it was a mind shift for me to get to that point of going okay no I'm not experiencing the same things that the kids that I did that I worked with um, I can't even imagine the trauma that they have though <laughs> um, but it was traumatic to me and that's okay. It doesn't mean any, it doesn't mean I'm weak. It doesn't mean I'm, you know, vulnerable. It doesn't mean anything. It's just at that point, whatever was going on in the cosmos around me with my parents, um, it was traumatic. So it, it impacted me in some way and it needs healing. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Are you ready? Well, I'm ready. I just want to say to everybody that I'm feeling really vulnerable right now, but I want to keep going because I want people to see this. You know? <laughs> well, Bray, you are very brave because when we <laughs> talked about doing this, I said, if we, if you want to, because sometimes it can bring up some stuff that you, and you may not even have a conscious memory of, but by even like, I guess, <laughs> let's say poking that wound to try and heal it, it may... Like I've had ones where I'm like, why am I crying? I don't even know why I'm crying right now. Right. And I don't, I don't need to consciously have the memory of it to actually just release that. Yeah. So yeah. I okay. honor your bravery and your vulnerability and your willingness to heal and to help others heal. So that's beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you. I <laughs> thank you for doing what you're doing. It's, it's, I, Anybody that's listening or watching, you need to talk to Tara. <laughs> Anybody. <laughs> Everybody. Thank you. Okay. So the positive qualities. Um, let's see how many times this one. Just once for this one. Um, so the positive qualities are ability to remember and understand core experiences that define emotional history. Nourishment and insight from past experiences. Patterns of imbalance are suppressed toxic memories of childhood, feelings of pain and trauma about past events, affecting present emotional identity. Okay. Emotional amnesia is a survival mechanism for the soul, especially during childhood or any period of life when the individual is vulnerable to exploitation or abuse. This unconscious residue of traumatic memories must eventually be encountered with more awareness of it, or else it works like a toxic poison which corrodes the present emotional life. Golden eardrop helps the soul to remember and feel unpleasant or painful episodes. This essence is an especially powerful cleanser of the heart and may stimulate tears as a form of emotional discharge. Once the individual experiences this cleansing process, there is also the ability to contact the positive aspects of the past. This is especially true regarding the events of one's childhood. When the personality suppresses painful aspects of childhood experience, connection with the archetypal child as a source of positive spirituality is also severed. Golden eardrops helps the soul to remember and reclaim the past so that it becomes a source of strength, wisdom, and insight. That's a good one, hey? <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> um... I wrote down two things. Um, okay. Emotional amnesia and remember and reclaim the past. 
Okay. Because so let's, I, have, I have very, very little memories of my childhood. Very few. Me too. And or did I know, I know that there's a reason for that. And, but, um, yeah, I, sorry, I cut you off there. Go ahead. No, no, I'm done. There's a reason for that. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's the thing. And I know when I would start in 2T, because I don't remember a lot of my childhood either, although it's coming back to me now, which is beautiful. Um, that almost scared me because I'm like, am I suppressing something like massive? Like did something really like the kids I dealt with in social work? Right. Am I suppressing something like that? And it almost scared me to look at it. Nothing like that's come up. I think it's just, it is the emotional amnesia. And I think because we're both, you and I are both very sensitive people, um, like empaths and, and we pick up energy. That makes things even more traumatic to us as a child, because even though mom and dad might've been in a good mood and smiling, but had just had like a fight, you know, before we walked in, we would sense that and we would take that on um, and not know, you know, like they didn't even have to yell at us, but just feeling that intensity of, you know, if they were fighting or, you know, if there was divorce pending or if there was cheating or, you know, like, do you know what I'm saying? So we don't even have to necessarily have been abused in that way but I think especially when you're sensitive or an empath you're picking up on all of that and so and not knowing that and not knowing what to do with it and not knowing that it's not yours you would just take it on I'm speaking yeah. for me too <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> well I can relate so. to all of those things you just said I'm thinking of the times that I do remember I can I can think of times where I felt the energy not knowing that that was not not what everybody feels you know mm -hmm. not yeah. knowing that <coughs> not understanding why i can feel that energy when everybody seems to be okay yeah. you know happy and talking and fixing dinner and chatting and everything so uh, okay hold on one second yep okay yeah so I can th those are some memories that I do have of having these feelings of everyday life going on as normal but then I'm not I'm feeling a way different energy than that then yeah and that's kind of, that's the way our society is, though, right? We are taught to put on the happy face, be the happy person, you know, and yeah. stuff. And especially parents who do that, too. Um, you know, like, oh, we don't want to fight in front of the kids. If you have an empathic, and most children are, can sense energy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're feeling it. So you might as well just have it out in the open and then have a discussion about it rather right. than you know like oh no we love each other and we're good and it's like but really your subtitles are something way different right. um right. because the kids are picking up on that absolutely mm -hmm. they are um and so i feel not that you should have like a full-on screen match in front of your kids but what i'm saying is just be honest with what it is mm -hmm. um because they're picking that up and then it causes confusion and i think for a lot of empaths that they um, they take that on then mm -hmm. like they take it on like it's my fault like I like everyone's so happy and I'm not mm -hmm. and what's wrong with me and why am I like, yeah and so which yeah. causes a whole world of stuff so a whole world yeah. of stuff okay <laughs> okay ready Let's get to it <laughs> uh, sorry what did you want to bring in again um, um, emotional amnesia and remember and reclaim the past Okay, so we'll do remember and reclaim the past and release emotional amnesia. Okay. okay. I asked for the flower essence of golden eardrops. Is it golden eardrops? Yeah, like oh. eardrops. Okay. Yeah. I, say it again. I asked for the flower essence of golden eardrops. I asked for the flower essence of golden eardrops. To enter my <laughs> energy field. To enter my energy field. Energy body. Energy body. And physical consciousness and physical consciousness with the help of the divine 
with the help of the divine. I ask for the flower essence of golden eardrops. I ask for the flower essence of golden eardrops. To assist me with. To assist me with. Releasing emotional amnesia. Releasing emotional amnesia. And reclaiming my past. And reclaiming my past. I ask for the flower essence of golden eardrops. <coughs> I ask for the flower essence of golden eardrops. To manifest. To manifest. To integrate. To integrate. And then if you feel it anywhere. I mean, she's going to go here. Okay. And stabilize. And stabilize. Thank you. How was that one? Um, actually, <laughs> not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, I am getting that you should do that one every day for the next five days. Okay. So, yeah. You, so you just at some point during the day, um, just the way we brought it in, mm -hmm. and I can send you the picture of the write up if you want. Um. But yeah, just kind of exactly like you did and just do it for the next five days. Okay. I think that's, I think that's spirit being beautiful to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Can you send me, you know, the, the, yep. you know, how to bring it in and all that kind of stuff. You um, bet. What I, what I did feel <clears throat> that I could recognize was one thing. I couldn't seem to stop coughing, so my body maybe was <laughs> was releasing, repelling. huh? Releasing, maybe. And I got really hot, really hot. It um it did come up. That one came up under purification, didn't it? Or yeah, so it's cleansing. Yeah. So that's fitting. Um, the next one came up under sharing, and it is um. Holly, which is opening heart to receive and give love. You're getting a, quite the heart healing session today is what's coming up, <laughs> which is beautiful. <laughs> um, so the positive qualities of Holly are loving and inclusive gestures to other, heartfelt compassion, ability to express gratitude to others. The patterns of imbalance are social isolation, Jealousy, envy, suspicion, and anger. Above all else, the soul seeks in its evolution to experience real love. This is the most fundamental lesson for the soul, at the same time, the most challenging. Holly is therefore a foundational remedy with many broad-based applications, for it restores the soul's ability to feel unity and wholeness. When we feel separate from others, we can take no joy or compassionate interest in their affairs. Instead, our isolation is compounded into negative states of jealousy, envy, suspicion, or anger. The soul grasps for its share of love as though it were a limited commodity, rather than realizing that love is an infinite resource which is divinely available to all. Holly, essence, nourishes the heart, helping the individual to make and sustain the shift from a limited and narrow conception of the self to one that is expansive and inclusive of others. In this way, the soul experiences fullness or holiness, for it feels permeated with divine love. This essence is the sacred un unity, the sense, oh, no, sorry, this sense of sacred unity is the very special gift and teaching of holy flower essence. <coughs> I 
two things came up in that. Um, okay. Feel unity and wholeness. Okay. Yeah. And um, narrow and limited self. Okay. So we can um, release the narrow and limited self and feel wholeness and was it wholeness and wholeness? Unity, unity and wholeness. Unity and wholeness. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just one time for this one. Oh. I asked for the flower essence of holly. I asked for the flower essence of holly. To enter my energy field. To enter my energy field. Energy body. Energy body. And physical consciousness. And physical consciousness. With the help of the divine. With the help of the divine. I asked for the flower essence of holly. I asked for the flower essence of holly. To assist me with. To assist me with. Releasing narrow conception of self. Releasing narrow conception of self. And to assist with feeling unity and wholeness. And assist with feeling unity and wholeness. I asked for the flower essence of holly. <clears throat> asked for the flower essence of holly. To manifest. To manifest. To integrate. To integrate. And then if you feel it anywhere. Really having a different feeling in my throat, so I'm gonna go there. Okay, and stabilize. And stabilize. Thank you. There you go. How was that? Yeah, it felt good. Um, like I said, I was feeling a different kind of feeling in my throat <clears throat> other than this thing that I'm calling allergies. Right. Nice. Um, and I also think that this Thing I'm calling allergies has something to do with my throat chakra too. There's so, a lot of throat chakra opening lately. So yeah, and you sound less um, gruff now in your throat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I felt a I felt a calm calming energy go in there. Nice. Yeah. So you know it's kind of hard. Um, kind of hard to know how to um, navigate mm -hmm. all the stuff, you know, what am I supposed to do? What I'm not supposed to do? What, you know, all that, why is yeah. this, you know, popping up like this and all this other kind of stuff. So I think one of the lessons is, is to be open and um, let, allow the people that have something to share share it you know because i don't have all the answers yeah you know we all, none of us do no and, and so your part of the flower essence is so wonderful and beautiful and everything and it has looked has i've never worked like this with the flower essence yeah so it's it's new and different and it's lovely it's really nice it's very nice um it is it's um Subtle yet powerful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like it, when I work with crystals, sometimes crystals just kind of, yeah, and knock me off my feet, you know? Yeah. Um, but I take it that that's what's supposed to happen at the time. Mm -hmm. But these are very subtle. Very they are. Subtle. And, and I think that 
to me, that's what flowers are though, right? Right. Like flowers yeah. are just beautiful, subtle things in nature. They're not like, hey, look at me. You know, right. like it's like, I'm here, if you want. And, and I feel like that's how their essences are too. It's like, I'm here to support you when you want. <laughs> and then, yeah. And I want to point out, I don't know if you've noticed, but you haven't coughed now since you brought that in. Oh, interesting. I haven't. No. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. So, um, yeah. So, I, I don't know. I Like, I love working with them. I love, um, yeah, I just love working with them. I do it for myself all the time. Um, and it's just been such such a blessing on my healing journey and yeah I don't know what else to say they're just beautiful and so powerful and so helpful and they just what what comes up is just exactly what you need yeah 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 well I mean if anybody's watching <laughs> I mean you kind of you, you kind of can't argue with the fact that I'm not coughing right now <laughs> and I was I was sorry yeah um, I yeah I can't even I, that's really cool that that happened yeah um, I guess if I had to kind of some summarize yours I feel like today was a lot of heart stuff some like clearing of heart stuff and some clearing of some old like kind of patterns and and things um, to open you up more. So I think, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> it is. It is. It's wonderful. So are are we done? Did you say there was five, or are we done? We're done. That was four. That I was four. yeah. I thought it was four. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. It's okay. Whatever. No, it's it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that is what a session would be like. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I it's anywhere any any number can come up and we can do them any number of times so it's really unpredictable um and we just go with what and i've had some who are like nope i'm done like i can't i can't do anymore because like they just feel exhausted or it's just too much yeah. um which is fine and then like i said so like the one that you're going to do for yourself every day for the next five days I just can send you the information and then you can do it and bring it in. And then I'm always there to answer questions too, if you want or anything. Great. But yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> so if anyone who's watching wants one, I will be more than happy to tell you what comes up for you. There you go. There's yep. the option. Yep. Who's still here? Jennifer's here. We have three watching still. Well, one of them is probably me, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Probably, because I'm on my phone. Oh, and one of them's probably me, so it's probably just Jennifer. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Nobody's nobody's said anything recently. Jennifer said so neat recently, so. Yeah. If Jennifer's, uh, or anyone. Oh, Jennifer. okay. Okay. We will see what comes up for you. Okay, so it came up under codependence. I can't do my alphabet very fast, so it takes me a while. And it's the flower essence of buttercup. So low self-esteem, inability, inability to feel one's own self-worth in social relationships, self-deprecating attitudes. Um, and I'll read the longer and then just let me know what you would like to bring in. So positive qualities are radiant inner light 
unattached to outer recognition or fame, self-assured. The patterns of imbalance are feelings of low self-worth, inability to acknowledge or experience one's, experience one's inner light and uniqueness, self-deprecating. In the natural evolution of the soul, there are phases of life, if not entire lifetimes, which require that one's essential light be contained in a quiet, simple way. Although such humble expressions may not appear remarkable by outer standards, they are enormously important times in which the soul gathers inward strength and consolidates its essence. It's important that such souls not judge themselves by conventional standards of achievement and success, becoming afflicted with feelings of self-doubt and diminished self-worth. Rather, they need to recognize and honor the inner value and worth of who they truly are. In this way, they are able to shine forth with a radiant inner light that blesses and sanctifies even the most simple tasks and obligations. This remedy is very helpful for children, for those who may be physically handicapped or impaired, and for numerous phases of, this, of numerous phases and situation in the life cycle, which require inner containment and simplicity. Buttercup flower essence helps the soul to realize and sustain its beautiful inner light, which becomes a source of great healing and peace for all whom it contacts. So just let me know, Jennifer, if that resonates with you. And then if you have a word or a sentence, and because we don't have you on camera, um, I will bring it in for you if that's okay. So just let me know if that's okay. Because the way we did it, Diane, you and I, is how I like to do it with clients. Um, when I do mini sessions, I actually just like bring the energy and give it to them or bring it in for them. Um, but I like, because to me that is you being accountable for your healing, I guess, mm -hmm. when you bring it in yourself mm -hmm. and it feels a little bit more powerful. So we'll just wait and see what Jennifer says. Okay. If we lose her. <laughs> I, she's probably there. <coughs> Okay, so awesome. I will bring it in for you then. Okay, and I will ask to release all of that and bring in your radiant inner light. So just kind of sit back and receive and um, Jennifer and then we will I'll bring it in for you. Okay, so I brought it in just to make sure. Um, let me know if you felt anything. Sometimes you might. Um, I felt it in my heart chakra, <laughs> for sure. Um, something I was going to say to you, um, especially, Diane, with the one that you are doing for the next five days, the golden eardrops. Um, sometimes what I do is I go on Google Images, and I put an image of that phone because like I was saying, sometimes I'll be working with one for months and doing layers. Um, or if I do one and I'm like, yeah, I totally need that. Um, I would be, I put it on my phone as my lock screen. I just save an image, image off Google. And it just kind of helps because every time I unlock my phone, then I'm like, oh yeah, that energy. And so um, on my post actually on Instagram, I put the picture of Buttercup. Because it's, yeah, Buttercup, which is the one we just brought in for Jennifer. So, yeah, if anyone is catching the replay and they want one for them, they can leave a comment and I will get the notification and I can let you know which one is yours. Um, you can join my email list on my website because I do a Wednesday one. Um, 
and I do a, yeah, a flower since for every Wednesday. So I'm just reading this. Didn't feel it in my heart chakra this time, but did through some well. Oh, cool. See, the universe is calling you. You needed a buttercup. You're very welcome, Jennifer. Um, and yeah, I can, when I do it for other people, I feel it in different ways. Um, not necessarily where they feel it, but it was, it was a warming heart feeling for me. Um, and that's kind of where, when I said stabilize, that's where it, it did like a stamp, um, on your heart chakra area. So yeah. So wonderful. And yeah, if you want a fluorescence reading, um, like I said, I go up to 90 minutes because if it's past 90 minutes, that's, that's a lot. How are you feeling right now? You haven't coughed at all, by the way. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah. really powerful. Um, mm -hmm. Physically, first of all, when you talked about putting that um, image on your on your screen, it, I I got a fluttering. I mean, that's a really good thing. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, my throat feels better. <laughs> you sound better too. You did as soon as we finished it. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um, like I said, you know, I haven't not had this one-on-one -on -one with you before, and I'm just pretty amazed about how powerful all this is. Um, and you know, you've got you've got a great talent and a great gift, and um, I Thank you. I hope more people can um, can see this and and see that. Oh, I need to talk to Tara. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to tell everybody, too, that Tara is very, very gentle. What you've seen so far is who she is. When she talks to you one-on-one, -on -one, she's very supportive and very gentle, and she doesn't try to lead you someplace that, that you know, you might not be willing to go. Um, she's, um, she's very authentic, and uh, mm -hmm. she will, she, you guys need to talk to her. <laughs> That's all <laughs> I can say. <laughs> That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it's like I said, I love doing it and I, I find it so like everything is, everyone's so different and it's so fascinating, you know, like you felt in your throat chakra and now you stop coughing and you know, like the first one you were like, and it, a memory from childhood came up and I couldn't help but chuckle because I already knew what the next one was. And it's like, <laughs> it's just, it always puts me in awe how beautiful and wonderful spirit is to us. If we just allow, if we just, um, yeah, allow, I guess is the best way Absolutely. So, to say it. So, yeah. yeah. So again, you may be feeling tired. Like you may get off this and feel exhausted. I say this to everyone. So lots of water today, honor where you are. Um, especially cause you got the one where you kind of felt sick and you, um, also got the purification one, which is definitely detoxing and cleansing. So yeah, honor yourself. And this is something I've recently learned from someone else and it so fits. If you have any weird food cravings today, honor that. Cause you did a lot of inner child work. And I was, I was talking to someone about it. Um, actually I read it on someone's post and she was talking about how she was doing inner child, inner heal inner child healing she's like and all i want is ice cream and i was like oh my gosh that's like all i wanted too and i was doing some inner child work too and then she, just the way she said it and i'm like that's my inner child she wants ice cream and so it was a way of honoring her and what she's been through because what child doesn't want ice cream right I know. and i was <clears throat> go, go, go ahead i was just gonna say when i honored that i was just like she was so excited and I mean, the adult me was like, oh no, you don't need ice cream, blah, 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 you know, like that kind of thing. And then I went and got the ice cream that she wanted and that was the end of it. My craving was gone and she was excited and happy. And I was like, okay, that puts a different spin on food cravings because yeah, 
It so. certainly it certainly puts a different spin on food cravings. And when you said, if you have food cravings, honor them. And the first thing that came to mind? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> well, there you go. Go have some ice cream today. And, and, and I'm afraid of ice cream because I don't do dairy well. But I think that the reason I have some issues in that is that there's blockages and things that I need to take care of. That might, and it'll be interesting. Yeah. Let me know because maybe you won't have a reaction this time. Maybe. That maybe is something that came up. Maybe. Well, yeah. Okay. That'd be cool. I'm getting so, there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just, I, like I said, it's just another way to really honor where you're at and another way to trust your own authority your I body's know. craving it for a reason and it might be um yeah it might be that so yeah yeah well jennifer thank you for sticking with us the whole time i'm i'm happy you could yes she said coconut ice cream did you see that yeah coconut ice cream yeah oh there's some good ones i don't know what you guys have in the states but we have a coconut ice cream up here that's salted caramel and chocolate. Oh, Ooh. it's so good. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's, I would think it would be yours. You would have it too because it's coconut bliss or whatever that. Yeah, yeah, um, we have coconut bliss. Yeah. Yeah. Salted caramel and chocolate. So yummy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I think, I think it's really amazing too is that Jennifer says that her five-year-old has been bringing her buttercups. Um, yeah. And I go, wow, that's very cool. I'm glad you got to say too. Yeah. He knew I was a Canadian. Did I say about the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of them in there. Yeah. I don't even know. I like, I mean, I don't even know the ones I say and I don't hear it. Like, I don't hear that. I say it different, but whenever I say I'm from Canada, well, especially when I lived in the UK, they were like, Say about, and I'm like, why? And then you get all paranoid. You're like, what do I say? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and then you don't say it the way they want you to anyhow, because I, I guess I say it if I naturally say it, but as soon as I start thinking about it, oh, progress. Progress, progress. that's one, yes. Oh, okay, progress. what do you guys say, progress? Progress. Oh, mm -hmm. progress, yeah. Progress, yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of them in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking about this the other day, a boot. <laughs> <coughs> I was thinking about this the other day and I'm so thankful for, um, getting to know you and you know, you're in Canada and I'm in California. And if it weren't for this technology, we wouldn't know each other. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely. And, and it's so awesome that we can do this. Um, and um, I want to, you know, again, thank you and honor you for what you're doing. You are, you are amazing. And uh, your card readings are amazing. Um, everything. I'm just, you, you are doing our conversations where I says, well, tell me about this. And you say, well, I don't know. I'm just kind of listening and going. I don't have anything to tell you. And I go, okay, <laughs> we're on the same, we're in the boat yeah. together, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, well, you're very welcome and thank you for allowing me and thank you, like I said, um, for being vulnerable and being brave because I know we talked about and sometimes it can bring up stuff that we maybe are like, um, no, <laughs> that's for me, just for me. Yeah. Um, and you knew that going in. So thank you for definitely doing that and hopefully people catch the replay. I will post the replay on my um, TSW site too. Yeah. Um, if you're good with that. And yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. So namaste. namaste. Thank you, Jennifer, for sticking around. And um, yeah, I know the Canadian is subtle. <laughs> All right. So thank okay. you. Bye, Tara. Bye. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. You're welcome. Take care. Okay. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye.